Y'all can keep lying to yourself. Y'all can keep lying to yourself. But at some point, you're going to have to keep it real. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left, what's up with y'all man, happy victory Monday, how y'all feeling, seriously, how y'all feeling, let me know in the comments, me, I'm feeling stupendous, look, feels good when you got one of the best teams in the NFL, if you ask me, we the best team in the NFL, you already know how I give it up. But, you know, it's still some doubters out there. It's still some doubters out there. I'm loving, we on our Crow Tour. I'm loving listening to the media act like they was talking about our team being good all year. I'm loving it. A lot, a lot of doubt before the season started. A lot of doubt. A lot of Cowboys might go 8 and 9, 10 and 7. A lot of Giants talk. I remember. Y'all trying to act like I don't remember. A lot of Giants talk. You know, chest 48 hours ago, a lot of Jets talk. Even after Aaron Rodgers went down, this defense is just as good as Dallas's, if not better than Dallas's. They're younger. All this extra. I hear the media hate, man. Watching the shows today, it's a lot of fake love, a lot of fake love and hate. It's not a lot of genuine. People like Ryan Clark, you've been on it. Mina Kimes, you've been on it. Shout out to them. Um... It's a couple people out there that's been keeping it real, but it's a faker. You know, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp. You know the Cowboys haters that's out there. And that's fine. That's going to keep us hungry. I don't want the whole media rocking with us. I don't even want it. I don't. You know, Joy Taylor. Joy Taylor is wild corny, too. Let me just say that. Do with that what you will, but she corny. Like, her football acumen, I lose respect for her daily. It ain't got nothing to do with Cowboys hate. I've been watching her closely lately. She don't be giving no football points. It's just a whole bunch of just trying to be buzzworthy and, and, and try to get be viral. Like, she used to talk football, I feel like, and I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's just it's just trying to make corny jokes and hate. It's, it's corny. But, um, yeah, man, the media just... The media today has had to eat crow. A lot of, you know... I, we knew the Cowboys, like Colin Cowherd, we knew the Cowboys were going to be this good. You know, the Cowboys are like Mike Tyson. They even knock you out or they can't win. No, stop trying to find ways to describe it. How about you just keep it real? You ain't never seen nothing like this before. Not from the Cowboys, not since the early 90s. So I can say you ain't seen it before because a lot of people, as you love to tell me, all you've seen is Cowboys despair, Cowboys failure. That's what a lot of people say. So you can't say we've seen this before. No, you have not. I was arguing with my boy Joe Castro earlier and on his show, and he wants to say, we we see this every... No, you didn't. No, you have not. You've seen a lot of Cowboys high-powered offenses and horrible defenses. Defenses with holes, deficiencies. Like a defense that might be strong in one area, but you can, ah, we can attack them in the back end. They'll give up the deep pass. We spent years begging for safeties. I know this defense wasn't like this. We had Sean Lee as a major point in our defense for years. He was injury prone. Shout out to Sean Lee. You know what I'm saying? We had DeMarcus Ware, but they didn't really put enough strong defenders around him. No, we haven't taken time to build a defense like this since the early 90s. Let's just keep it real. It's thorough. It has depth. We're insulated. It's not just, yo... Well, if a corner goes down, we're insulated. We got young, good corners. We got safety depth that's crazy. A lot of cross-trained guys that can play multiple positions. Our defensive line is multiple and versatile. Like, and our defensive co um, coordinator, Dan Quinn, is one of the best in the league. Like, our defense right now, two weeks, 10 sacks, leads the league. Tyra Washington, but leads the league. 41 pressures by ourselves. Five interceptions by ourselves. Four, four forced fumbles by ourselves. Lead the league in takeaways. That's us. 41 pressures, like, in two weeks. Like, we're causing complete havoc. And Arizona, 
Josh, Dobbs, first of all, Dobbs, it's personal. Because you tried to get it in last year. I remember that game with the Titans. We ain't forget. We about to put you on punishment, too. But it's just, it's it's crazy to me, the the fake love that's floating around through the media. Like, I see y'all. Y'all not slick. The ones that are giving up the love, it's fake. I don't feel it. It ain't real. It's a couple of y'all where it's real. It's a couple of y'all where it's real. But when Dan Ovalosky got to make a little video, it's because it's undeniable. You're like, ah, I want to hate, but damn. All right. They, okay. Like, that's how they feeling. Like, all right. You know, so they're trying to spin it. Well, we, you know, they they want they don't want you to enjoy your year, Cowboys Nation. They don't go for it. Don't go for it. They want to find a way to, well, you know, the, 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 the offense is conservative. That's the new narrative. It's building. It's conservative. We scored 30 points on offense yesterday. Field goal kicks don't matter. I, I, I remember when field goal, field goal kicks helped win Tom Brady like three Super Bowls. So those Super Bowls don't count because it was won by a field goal? Like, you can't have it both ways. Yes, would I love for us to score every trip into the red zone? Fine. But our offense scored 30 yesterday. There was no defensive scores. There was no special team scores. We scored 30. 30 game, um, 30, um, 30 points off of all offensive drives. Yes, I would love to punch it in, in the red zone every time. But y'all want us to win 70 to 10. Would I love it? Sure. We were not beating teams 50 to 10 every week. Not when I watch other teams in life struggles with Mac Jones and, and other type of like, No, 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 no. I ain't going. Then I hear people doing spin like the media spin like this. The media saying stuff like, Well, the Cowboys are gonna play the Cardinals and the Patriots the next couple weeks, so we won't quite get a spin on how good they are, because those teams are mediocre. And then in the next breath we'll say something like, Well, the Eagles have played the Patriots which is a really good defense and team. Literally in the next breath. When it's the Cowboys, it's an ain't not that good of a team. When it's the when it's the Eagles, oh, the Patriots are a well-rounded team. They just need a couple more weapons. Y'all got to pick one. What y'all going to realize this year is that we're going to dominate no matter who's out there. The dominance ain't going to stop. It's not. It's not. Just get used to it. And our offense has been efficient. That's the word you're searching for. Instead of hating, it's efficient. We're smart. We're taking what the defense has given us. And for everybody that's hating on our schedule, I'm old enough to remember last year when everyone was trying to defend a certain team. It was you beat who's in front of you. Well, we've been punishing who's in front of us. And I'm tired of making excuses for people. I'm old enough to remember somebody saying, you don't make excuses for success. Yeah, you don't. Our team is dominant. It's scary. What we're going to do to the Cardinals ain't going to be funny. I saw Washington in, 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 in a life fight. I saw the Giants in a life fight. With the, watch what we do to the Cardinals. Watch what we do to the Cardinals. Just watch. I don't want to hear it. I mean, it's just Josh. Dott. No, 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 no. Because I watched Washington struggle with them, and I watched the Giants struggle with them. But watch, you're going to see the, 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 the levels of difference when we play the Cardinals. Y'all going to make excuses, but watch the difference. And I got to say one more thing before I get up out of here because we're going to start talking about the Cardinals seriously and just look. It's probably going to be one of them weeks where we're just going to stack stats. It is what it is. We're just that much better than the Cardinals. They might be the worst team in, team in the league, and we might be the best team in the league. Like, they about to get ran over. It's like a Mack truck to an ant. It's going to be disrespectful. But let me say this real quick. Division rivals. If you scared, just say that. If you scared, just say that. It's a whole lot of trying to discredit what we're doing. Discredit Dak Prescott. You know, first it was, you know, he going to have turnovers. Now you can't do the turnover thing because y'all y'all quarterbacks is turning over. Now it's, well, he's too conservative. It's dinking Dak again. I've seen Dak Prescott lead the league in yards, throw multiple touchdowns, over 30 touchdowns, 37 touchdowns to be exact. Over 30 touchdowns more than once, right? Have all the offensive accolades, Right? We don't want to see that. We want to see wins. We want to see. We don't, we don't want to see turnovers. No turnovers through the first two weeks. And I've seen people today trying to harp on a almost turnover. Like y'all just just thirsty for anything. And I just want y'all to know. You brought this on yourself. The chip, the hunger, the 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 focus that my team is playing with. You brought this on yourself. Y'all talk too much. 
Y'all disrespectful. I'm going to watch the media do this whole can the Cardinals sneak up on the Cowboys thing this week. I already feel it. And I love it. I love every second of it. All I want to do is challenge y'all to do this, yo. Rivals. If you're scared, just say that. If you're afraid of the Cowboys, just say it. Stop trying to discredit what we're doing because your team can't do it. Because your team can't do it. The Jets was a top 10 team and one of the best defenses in the league. Now it's just the Jets. No, 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 no. If you're afraid, just say that. Don't make excuses. Just say, I'm afraid of the Cowboys. They look way better than I ever thought. Don't let these people try to steal your joy, Cowboys fans. We having a, we're going to have a phenomenal year, and we're going to celebrate every win every week. They're trying to skip to the end. Well, you don't matter to the playoffs. No, 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 no. We're going to worry about the Cardinals. We're going to celebrate every victory one by one. We're not skipping to the end. We're going to enjoy this year because it's a special one. But it's your boy, Mr. Ron Long. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments about just the fact of how good your team looks. I would love to know how you feel about how good your team looks. You want some negativity? Go to another channel. That ain't how I get down. I'll holler.